good morning welcome back to my nails monday so this morning i am just trying to fix some breakfast i'm trying to use our fresh ingredients first and then figure whatever out using canned and boxed ingredients later so we had some bacon left over from a recipe we made a few days ago so i'm using that and i thought i'd make some eggs and some toast um but i have two loaves of bread here in hawaii in order to get supplies it all comes from the mainland and so we are very very dependent upon ships still running now ships still are running and we get deliveries three times a week but literally everything sells out within like an hour of them putting it out and bread is like a hot commodity and hard to get so i also bought two packages of flour which has also since sold out and all i could get was three individual packages of yeast and i thought you know i can start making my own bread once these sell out because i do have a bread or sell out once these run out because i do have a bread machine and i want to be able to leave bread in the stores for people who don't have bread machines and so they wouldn't be able to do it themselves um i mean i know by the way that you can make bread without a bread machine i'm just talking about in general sense um so yeah i'm just making some breakfast having a coffee i've got my coffee here uh that's two venti or two venti two vivalto lungos and then a 32 ounce thing of water here by the way since my last my meals monday i have gotten a berkey filter it is amazing i highly recommend this i will leave a link for it below um basically it'll filter your water and it takes out everything prescriptions arsenic um arsenic is naturally in the water by the way um takes out arsenic the fluoride everything so i'm very very happy with this okay so breakfast is done i had to open the window because the bacon as i was cooking it was getting a bit smoky in here and louis doesn't like when that happens god my hair is so frizzy he doesn't like when that happens he always goes and hides in the bedroom if it like gets a little bit smoky so um opened up the window but this is what breakfast looks like this morning i did an english muffin because i forgot that i had three left so I made one English muffin, some scrambled eggs, some bacon. I've got my coffee here that I've been drinking, my big thing of water that I've been drinking. And now I'm gonna go devour this because I'm starving. Okay, so I've just been cleaning out and organizing cabinets. Um, I'll show you guys what I've done, but also I'm gonna have a V8. It is 1230, so it's been like three hours, three and a half hours since I ate. And I'm not hungry, but I also know that I'm supposed to like eat every couple of hours, but also like my macros are out the window i have no idea what i'm eating probably way less than normal sorry the tv is so loud don's watching a golf thing um it's like a documentary or something anyways uh what was i saying my macros i know i'm under eating i'm not eating as much as i should be but i just i can't get the supplies for the meal plan or anything like that so it's just honestly i've got bigger fish to fry right now but i'll show you what i've done so i've tried my best to organize my cabinets um that doesn't actually go there but i have nowhere else to put it basically these are kidney beans i need two cans of kidney beans to make chili so this gives me three batches of chili these are black beans i need two cans of black beans to make my vegan enchiladas or vegan tacos so i have two batches here and then i have one big can up there which is equal to two of these so i can make three batches of that i also need two cans of tomatoes to do each of these but i only have four or five so we're gonna have to be skimpy on that i have a couple garbanzo beans cannellini beans corn some green beans these are like really random things so i have some green beans here and then i have beets <laughs> it's just these are all cans of just really random stuff i have some one can of chili back here what's that pinto beans you know so this is just like my random section and then i have some canned soups maple syrup tuna um i put popcorn and sauce packages there and then i have peanut butter and jelly here all my spices and then up there it's like random stuff so it's some olives some enchilada sauce the La Victoria is the best. And then these are like mayonnaise, ketchup. And then back here is where I put, no. that sucks. 
um, pastas. Okay, I'm actually gonna put the salad dressing like that. And then, in the next cupboard, uh, this is my baking shelf up here. So it's all baked baking stuff that I've had forever, except for that bag of rice. I've got some more rice in here, some crackers, oatmeal, dried fruit. And then this is the cereal breakfast section. So I have one thing of milk, which I'm like praying that we don't end up having to use. And then some pancake mix and different cereals. And then over here I have some peaches, some uh, cup of noodles, and then some more crackers down there in my little stash of V8. So I'm just making some lunch and I have some Panda Express left in the fridge. I ordered this because I was getting really, really like tired of eating. We had made a soup and I was like, I'm so over eating this. So um, I ordered Panda Express two days ago and just now I thought, you know, I had it for lunch the day i ordered it i had it for dinner that night i had it for lunch the next day i'm kind of tired of panda express but i'm not gonna let it go to waste um i've told you guys i think i told you guys earlier that my sister and i were talking about how hopefully coming out of this whole thing one of the lessons learned will be not to waste as much they say 40 percent of food in america is wasted so we're using it all um, so yeah, and I still have that soup in the fridge, by the way, that I was tired of eating. Luckily, Don is not, and he keeps eating it. So, um, I'm gonna warm this up. Okay, this is what it looks like. It looks like an absolute freaking mess, but it's a mix of fried rice, chow mein, and string bean chicken. I just warmed it up in the microwave, and now I'm gonna go eat this because I'm starving. I've been doing so much cleaning today. So... I just finished watching my local press conference from my mayor. He's issuing, it's not a shelter in place, it's called a work from home, um, where basically he wants people to work from home and try to stay home as much as possible over the next, it's um, till April 30th. And I'm frustrated because I feel like it's not enough. They've deemed hotel workers essential workers. I don't think they should have done that because the hotels will stay open. People are still flying here. They're still allowing cruise ships to come here because people can travel really cheap right now. They see that they can get a round trip ticket to Hawaii for like a hundred dollars and they're like doing it. And it's so freaking frustrating because I'm just like, just shut it down. And the shocking thing is the media here everybody here that they run into is saying you need to shut it down and you're not why do you keep letting these tourists come in why do you keep letting cruise ships disembark here like why and they're like you have to think about the economy and this and that and everyone's like oh my gosh like for 30 days we can shut it down slow the spread and it'll be okay even on another island maui is already running out of medical supplies we don't have a lot as is for a state that has a few million people, we only have 8,000 hospital beds statewide. So yeah, it's a little bit frustrating. He's also talking about letting schools go back in, which I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? That is like the fastest way to spread this is to let schools go back in. So anyways, I'm frustrated with that, but I'm just gonna get back to cleaning because that's something I can control how my house looks. So I am, um, I massively just went through the entire kitchen, literally emptied everything out and reorganized it so everything is like perfect. I love it. And now I've moved on to the dining room. I just took some laundry out of the washer, or out of the dryer I mean, and I've got some paperwork on here that I need to pick up and I need to organize Louis's cupboard. He has this whole cupboard here and it's this, this door and this door. And um, it's a mess, so I need to organize that because he gets this monthly subscription box of treats and chews and he loves it, but it's kind of taking over everything. <laughs> because I am self-isolating at home, we have been for about two weeks now because Don has a health issue that lowers his immune system. So his doctor was like, or suppresses his immune system it's medication he takes anyways um so his doctor was like you guys need to stay home so that's we that, that's what we've been doing but i go out every few days and turn our car on so the battery doesn't die 
while I'm out there, I was just like going through, checking, cleaning, and I opened up my trunk and there was a box in there. Like a month ago, Laura, my friend in England, I was gonna send her a box of just like American treats and I put it in my trunk and then completely forgot. And oh my gosh, you guys, like there's so much in here. It's all junk food, of course, but we've got some Fritos, some onions, some Cheetos, let's see what else, more Cheetos, some animal crackers. I'm just dying, there's so much in here. So I won't be sending this, sorry, Laura. I'll pack you another box when all this food shortage is over. So we have decided to do a pizza movie night. I'm cooking a pizza right now. It's just a DiGiorno stuffed crust pepperoni, I think. And we are gonna, gonna watch a movie in bed. This is huge because Dawn is not a watch a movie in bed whilst eating type of person. So this is breaking news, people. I'm very excited for this. I am currently trying to get him to watch Contagion all too real for him he's completely against that plan so instead we're probably going to watch the martian or passengers because those are two movies we can agree on this is literally how we're spending our quarantine half the time we are trying to find a movie that we can agree on a fourth of the time <laughs> we're trying to we're arguing about a movie which one we'll watch and then the other fourth of the time we're trying to watch it and typically end up giving up because one of us doesn't like it so, yeah that's where we're at Okay, so I am gonna go watch a movie and eat this pizza. I just wanna say before I go, since we're all quarantined and nobody can go out and do stuff, be sure to go out and start your car from time to time or else you'll go out and start it 30 days later and it won't start. So just a little tip there. I would do it like maybe once or twice a week and just let it run for a little bit so that then your battery is staying charged and yeah i hope you guys are all staying safe i hope you guys are all following the quarantine rules i would be so disappointed to hear otherwise because i really want this over with and the more we all comply the faster that will be so it gives doctors a chance to process people through hospitals without having to deal with the like over run of the hospital and it also gives scientists a time or a, a time a chance to work on the vaccine so everybody stay home play lots of board games with your family watch movies on tv and just relax for a bit